You were and you were nine pounds and two ounces when you were born. You were a big baby. Nine pounds? Mm -hmm. That's big for a baby. Whoa. I know. sitting here in my childhood quilt wearing it as a shawl because it's the size of a children's blanket I um, was gifted it when I was much younger I think it even has the year on it somewhere uh, sure. 1993 which means that I've had this for almost 20 years which is hilarious um, I did not make it, uh, in 1993, I was seven years old and, um, my mom signed me and my older sister up for a quilting class, which was very sweet of her. And the lady who was teaching us the quilting class, I remember that she had this great organ in her place and some really pretty things. Oh, okay, I'll put it back up in a minute. Okay. Thank you. And um, after the first class, I guess my older sister did well in like understanding and putting things together. I just remember her having, a, the lady having a lot of interesting things in her house. But apparently um, the lady was very sweet, but she said, and maybe next time Bethany shouldn't maybe we should wait till next year for Bethany to be in the class and my mom understood <laughs> that that meant that I didn't pay attention or um, do the work for the class so my mom had already purchased the material and everything for it and so my sister and I were both supposed to be quilting everything and uh, by the end of the class, though, the lady who was supposed to be quilting, uh, doing, like, teaching the quilting, she had put mine together and gave it to me, um, basically to be kind. <laughs> and, um, because my, I don't think my mom quilts. Um, she, maybe she does. She always has hidden talents I don't know about. Um... But I've had it forever, and I've used it as a ton of different things. I just use it all over the place. I used it for a blanket, you know, obviously, growing up. And then I've used it as a blanket for my children. Um, I've also used it as just like a picnic layout in the middle of the floor. I use it as an ironing cover sometimes on this wooden table. I've been doing that for about two weeks. It's just become kind of this multi-purpose thing in my life. And right now it's acting as a shawl, and I use it that way all the time. Um, I've been thinking about making it into the inside of a coat, or um, or even a skirt, uh, because I love using it the way that I use it, but it is falling apart. It is just, it has been so well loved throughout the years that even this binding part is coming off. I, I, and I don't want to just watch it fall apart more throughout the years. Um, I guess I could try to repair it, but I don't really, with some of it, I don't even really know how I would do that. Um, so I thought about, and honestly, 20 years of a well-loved quilt is pretty great. Um, especially when it belongs to a child at the beginning. <laughs> uh, so... 
Um, I've been thinking about that, how to repurpose it basically as like a quilted lining for something. Um, cause I think that would be fun to have it, have a piece of clothing that's very simple on the outside, but then has this, um, on the inside and I'm just the only one who knows about it and things like that. So, uh, I'm wearing it as a shawl because this window is so drafty, so cold, not insulated well. Ugh. And so I'm trying to finish these three bonnets and having a hard time because I'm just trying to conserve energy by not moving. And um, hopefully uh, my shawlography will be done soon. I, I really, I am, I'm thinking about just bringing it with me, even though I'm using it as my advent knitting. I'm thinking about just knitting on it tonight uh, for the two hours. Um, because maybe I'll get a few stripes ahead if I do that. What I should really do is bring those socks for my sister-in-law. That's what I should really do. And get those heels done. Because then the sock will be halfway done. Two-thirds done. But I need to get those off to her soon. Um, or if she might not get them before Christmas. So Anyway, I'm feeling a little warmer now. So we're going to finish this. Oh my goodness, I've just been, I am on, I'm not just on the struggle bus, I am driving the struggle bus right now with these last few bonnets. I really was sitting here like, well, I don't know, the order said eight and I'm making, what, four, seven, eleven, eleven instead of eight. So I could just finish off one more and be done with the order. But I'm so close. I'm so close to being done. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, I'm gonna go to the post office and send these bonnets. Woo, they're all done and the tree skirts. I'm also sending my first muscle bird to my sister because it's too big for me and I think it'll fit her. Oh, this so back is so nice. I blocked it the other day so it's all ready for her and doesn't have any more of my hair on it, so that's good. Um, this jacket is so warm. I love it so much. I think, what, what brand is it? says it on here somewhere where is it oh it's an Eddie Bauer jacket and I thrifted it um, last year when we were in Indiana for in January as I was saying before the January is really really cold and I did a bad job because I um, left with my flip-flops on that I was wearing in the house and no coat because I went from the house to the garage into the car did not have to experience any outdoor weather on the way to the car we drove the five hours to Indiana and we got there and I realized I did not have any appropriate shoes or coat so this thing has served me really well this past year you know last winter and I'm looking forward for to it for this winter. I never thought I'd be like a puffy jacket person, but it's great. All right, post office is done. Now I'm gonna go into this place. It's called Briar and Bean. If you're around Clarksville, Tennessee, then it's near you. Uh, it's in Clarksville. <laughs> I am going to go check them out. They're a coffee and uh, tobacco shop. So let's see what we find. 